uh, today we are going to look at uh, form two mathematics form two mathematics on area of quadrilaterals that is our topic area of quadrilaterals what are quadrilaterals they are those plain figures with how many sides four sides four sides and therefore we go straight away to a rectangle this one we know a rectangle that one we know so we'll take it as a few we know that uh, area of a rectangle is given by length times width length times width so that is straight away we go to number two parallelogram 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 suppose we have so from primary school we knew that or we learned that a parallelogram has a height there and this is the base we can call it b and we said that area of a parallelogram is base this base here times the perpendicular height suppose we now go to we can call this 2a we go to 2b and this is a bit uh, new to us 2b suppose you have a parallelogram a parallelogram parallelogram uh -huh. with the sides a and b and in between these two sides you have a what you have an angle here we call this angle an included angle which is between the two sides that you are given so if you have a parallelogram of this kind how do you find the area the area of such a parallelogram is equals to a times b sin theta a times b sin theta a times b sin of the included angle we can look at an example so put this formula in mind lana so that you can be able to apply it so suppose we look at an example look at an example if we had a parallelogram like that uh -huh. Uh -huh. a parallelogram of that kind and then we are given sides five centimeters and uh, eight centimeters and this angle here is 60 degrees 60 degrees so how do you find the area of this parallelogram you apply our formula here you see the area of this parallelogram is equals to this side times the other side times sine of the included angle so it is 5 times 8 sine 60 degrees so this gives us 5 times 8 40 sine 60 degrees using a calculator what should you get you should get 34.64 centimeters square so this is a totally new formula I know that other one there, the very first one there, you, you know it, you know it all there from primary school. So from there, Lana, let us go to uh, the next quadrilateral, the next quadrilateral, trapezium. 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 So we draw a trapezium, something like that. Two sides are parallel. 
parallel. Two sides are parallel, like that. Suppose you have a perpendicular height here. Perpendicular height there. Suppose this side is A and this is B. How do you find area of a trapezium? I know you are aware of this formula that area of a trapezium is equals to a half in a bracket sum of the parallel lines times height. A half A plus B times height. Right. So this is very important. I know it is not very new and therefore it's good to put it in mind. So let us look at an example. Let us look at an example. So what is the area of this trapezium? The area of this trapezium therefore be equal to a half in brackets sum of the parallel lines that is 8 plus 12 multiplied by the perpendicular height, which is 4. So this is equals to a half multiplied by what? 8 plus 12, that is 20 times 4. Divide by 1, by 2, 1, by 2, 10. This gives us 40 centimeters square, 40 centimeters square. So Lana, we look at another example. Such a trapezium, Lana. How do you find the area of such a trapezium? The first thing is to introduce the perpendicular height because we need it. Perpendicular height, the H. Then get the H. Because you already have the two parallel lines, get the height. How do you find the height? To get the height, you use the trigonometric ratios. And uh, we use, in this case, we use what? You are given the angle of theta here, 30, and you have this side. This side is opposite. It is opposite. And the hypotenuse is here. So, which trigonometric ratio do we use here? We use sine. We talk of sine 30 is equals to opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. Hmm? Sine theta is equals to opposite of hypotenuse. So, ours is sine 30 is equals to opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite of hypotenuse. And therefore, what is our H? To get our H, you cross multiply. Cross multiply, and therefore you get 5 sine 30 degrees is equals to H. Is equals to H. So, you use a calculator to get the H. 5 sine 30 from a calculator. 5 sine 30 from a calculator will give us what? It will give us 2.5 centimeters. So the height of our trapezium is 2.5 centimeters. And so what is the area of our trapezium now? We use the formula a half a plus b times h because now we have our h. Therefore, this gives us what? A half in brackets 6 plus 10. 6 plus 10 times our height, which we have got as 2.5. 2.5. So, Lana, you come and write that your area, therefore, is equal to a half. Times what? 6 plus 10 is 16 times 2.5. You can cancel out by 2, 1, by 2, 8. 
and therefore this gives us what? This gives us 20 centimeters square. So the area of our trapezium is 20 centimeters square. So Lana, we are going to continue on finding area of other quadrilaterals uh, later after some break. Thank you.